on YouTube so you read the title of the video you know what we're doing we're bringing back the web shooters I know I know you thought I was retired but I recently came across something that uh, led me to make this video so I'm gonna be Peter Parker for this video I'm just gonna throw on a lab coat there we go we're gonna be making the closest thing that I've found to real web fluid thus far a single pellet can safely store several hundred meters of the lightweight cable. Funny story about how I uh, found this stuff. Me and my buddy were uh, just messing around in Walmart. I think my friend was like buying paint for his Halloween costume or whatever. It's taking forever to find the right color. It's color blend though, so should have seen that one coming. So I was bored and I was wandering around. I was like just spraying random stuff as one does. And I stumbled across this uh, stuff that actually acts so much like webs. It's the certain type of spray adhesive. This stuff right here. I'll link this down below, but it's called Loctite spray adhesive. But the thing you want to make sure you get is the professional performance again I'll link the exact one down below if you want to check it out you don't want to get the other type make sure it says professional performance the other one doesn't work the same way as this so I'm gonna be honest I have no idea what is in this I know it's extremely flammable certain chemicals in here that can cause harm to the body if ingested but it bonds wood metal glass carpet plastic yeah this stuff is strong and it comes out in like this really cool stringy like polymer chain that looks just like webs let me show you what I mean Guys, this stuff is sticky, like... Engineered from genetically enhanced spiders, Oscorp's BioCable tensile strength is unparalleled. We're just beginning to understand all the potential industrial application. Pretty cool stuff, but the trick now is to figure out how to fit this stuff into a web device. Because obviously, like, well, I mean, you could strap this whole thing to your arm and just go have like a web cannon, like, that'd be kind of cool if you want to do that. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer this stuff into a lighter cartridge that I've made that's compatible with all of my other web shooters. And that is the trick for this video. No, we're not gonna be able to swing on webs, but we will be able to stick stuff together. guys so we've got all the materials right here some lighters uh, got the spray adhesive of course first things first we need to modify these lighters to accept and release a bunch of fuel all at once so I've done this a million times you guys already know how to do it here's like a 15 second clip on how to do it go so yeah you end up with a lighter something like this Zoom this a little bit. <sighs> Pretty much, we just took out the fuel restrictor, so now when we press down, uh, it'll release gas all at once. Now we need to create a way to get uh, this adhesive inside of here. My idea for that is to take this rod off of this uh, air duster. Uh, you get this off like WD-42. It's pretty much just like a precision tool for getting the uh, gas in the place you want because this fits very conveniently over the uh, tip of the lighter, just like that. Uh, and I'm also going to use a piece from inside of this pen, take this part. You can see we've got the uh, ink cartridge right here. And what we're gonna do is just cut off a little bit, take off this Loctite. Highly recommend gloves when doing this. I had to spend like 15 minutes in the back there washing my hands. Not fun, because it fits perfectly down inside of uh, the Loctite valve right here. And as a bonus, these two pieces fit together as well. Just like that. So pretty much making our own adapter valve. One end fits in the lighter, one end fits in the Loctite, and when you push down, hopefully this liquid will shoot up and inside of the lighter. That's the plan anyway. Cut these down, glue them together, and uh, yeah, hope for the best.
why you need gloves, guys. Check that out. Check this out, guys. That is that is the adhesive spray inside of the lighter. Let's go. We got the web fluid successfully inside of the lighter. Now what we can do is just fit this in a web shooter and then we're straight up Spider-Man. First of all, to fill this up, you have to actually push down the lever while you take the uh, pliers and uh, push down on the piece of plastic. So you have to decompress both this lever and this lever at the same time. With a little bit of practice, uh, not too bad and that was like my third time doing this and it already got half a tank of uh, web fluid which is like the cure to cancer right now <laughs> i do like that i built it into this uh purple lighter though looks like a test tube full of mystery solution but it's actually like pressurized web fluid so cool so cool plus i'm in a lab coat in a really cool studio Fe feeling a lot like spider-man right now so I'm going to be using this uh, 3D printed web shooter I made in a previous video. Also throw some uh, STL files of where you can download this model and print it out for yourself. If you want to 3D print a web shooter, this one's cool. It's got lights in it. Ready? Ah, doesn't look as impressive because I've got so much good lighting in the studio right now. Or if you don't have a 3D printer, I've also made web shooters that don't need that. Super simple to make. Um, pretty much just look up how to make a web shooter and you'll find my videos. So yeah, here's a real quick clip of uh, how I made this. Full video, again, link in the description. Filled up a couple more uh, cartridges full of the fluid. We've got it locked and loaded, so we're gonna go put this on my wrist and uh, go try it out. Guys, first web test in three, two, one. All right, fresh cartridge going in. Locked and loaded. All right, guys, web test in three, two, one. Guys, so I just found this uh, very uh, just interesting piece of styrofoam right here. We're gonna see how well these webs actually work. So I uh, got a blank wall over there. You can see where this is going. Just gonna set this camera down right here. Area, anyway, uh, the wall looks good. So we're just gonna web it up. Oh, I hit my finger. So I gotta learn how to use this thing. Whatever, there's a learning curve with this thing. enough webs 
Got the uh, styrofoam right here. Just gonna slap that on. Boom, not coming off. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much the end of this video. As always, I hope you did enjoy it. I think this was a pretty successful build. We finally got a web solution that actually starting to resemble webs. Like, this stuff is legit. Like, it's like it's spray glue. Like, it's supposed to be sticky. And the fact that it, like, actually acts like chain polymers, like tendrils of webs, uh, it's just so cool. Um, I'm really glad we were able to fit it in this small cartridge um, that can just be easily interchanged. Um, that was my favorite part about my previous web shooters. You just pop them out grab a new cartridge, pop it in, and uh, you can shoot more webs just like the Spider-Man movie. Um, comment down below what you want to see me make next. I had a lot of fun today pretending to be Peter Parker. Um, digging the lab coat, honestly. I have to make Jay Laser Video Edition lab coat. So I was gonna keep these talking bits short. Instagram link down below. I go follow that, it would mean a lot. Also, like and subscribe. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Lesson here is if you're just wandering around Walmart, who knows what you can find. You might find the key to a Spider-Man web solution. I don't know what the hell that message is, but uh, yeah, that's what happened. So uh, as always, take it easy guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a horrible idea. I don't know why I did that.